Hey everyone, welcome to Buick Outdoors. New around here, my name is Sheldon Marion. Today I'm joined by Shelby and we're out here at uh, Cameron Lakes out in Northern BC. Uh, I've actually never fished out here before, uh, but apparently there is pike and walleye in this lake. So what I'm gonna be doing here is I'm gonna be tying on a little metal leader onto my line here. And then uh, I'll be running the little five of diamonds and see if we can't get ourselves a fish. So if you've never used a leader before, it's just this pretty well piece of metal wire. We use these because the walleye and pike, they have teeth. And when you're using just your line, they come up, they grab your hook, and they can grab that line and snap it. Where this gives you a little bit of protection. And on the end here, you just have this little, this little clip here. You simply unclip it, grab your hook, put the eye through the little clip there, and you see where it gets hooked up, and away you go. Now when the fish comes in and grabs this, he has that extra six inches where his teeth can sit there and chew on it or whatever, and it uh, won't break. So let's head over to the water, see if we can catch fish. Well, Shelby's interrupting my fishing here. She yelled fish on. So let's go over here and see what she got. Pretty nice little walleye, eh? Oh yeah. Alright. We're gonna cheat a little bit here though. What are you using? Just a jig. Maybe the old five of diamonds ain't gonna work too good. Better switch up. Grab myself a jig here. But uh, I'm gonna give her a hand and I'm gonna pull this hook out for her. Everybody needs a handy dandy leatherman. Now what I can do, I can pretend that I caught this. Look at my fish I got, guys. Yeah, <laughs> He's, He doesn't like being outfished. No, I don't like that at all. <laughs> but what do you figure, fellas? I think that'll be a nice little supper for tonight. Get a couple fillets out of him, so we'll uh, put him out of his misery, and we're gonna get back to fishing. Well, we're gonna be here for a little bit longer. Uh, so what we're gonna be doing is I got this little fish chain here and This end here you pretty well anchor it down to something and then these it's kind of like that leader where you pop it out And then you take your fish You run it up through the gills So it comes out the mouth there and when it's right in the corner, you able to just clip her back into place. And now what we can do, we can take this, we can put our fish back into the water, and we'll anchor this side down, then that way your fish stays uh, uh, nice and wet, kind of thing, doesn't dry it out and get gross, especially if it's a real hot day. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna take this guy, put him back into the water so he stays nice and fresh. We bonked him on the head so he's kinda, he's out, right? So uh, yeah, then I'm gonna switch out the old five diamonds for a jig and I'm gonna get back to fishing. Well, I was fishing at a different spot in the lake there, but uh, 
I decided to come over here and join Shelby. There's this great big line of weeds right here and it goes all the way up and around and across the lake right in there. That's where uh, little Camp Cameron is. Nice little uh, camping spot there for kids, like a little kids camp for the summer. But anyways, I'm gonna see if I can cast into some of these weeds and see if we can pull out another walleye. First cast, got bike. Good job. There we go. Look at that. That didn't take me long. Yeah, nice little northern pike hanging out in the weeds. Black jig. Just got a pull the hook out of him here and then uh, we'll send him on his merry way. Alrighty, so got the hook out of him and uh, he's ready to go back home. Watch this guy just take off like crazy back into those weeds here. There he goes. Pew! Right back to the weeds. Alrighty, well, that's one cast, one fish. That's the way I like it. <laughs> Let's see if we can uh, do that again. Alrighty, try that again. So a lot of times with these weeds, what will end up happening is the pike, especially when there's a little strip of weeds like this, they'll sit right in the, the bottom of them and they just, they're an ambush fish. So when something's swimming by, coming in they sit there and right near the bottom they come up and they they grab it while it's swimming by so it's a good spot to fish but unfortunately it's a good spot to lose a lot of hooks too but that's okay we have lots to lose so see what happens once we start coming through these weeds again we go let's see oh don't know if that was another fish or just weeds I got a mess alrighty you ready there Rocky boy you think we can get another one Got me another one. This one feels a bit bigger. 
Oh, there's also about 10 pounds of weeds on them. Nice little walleye. Good job, honey. There we go. Well, you guys, that's three casts, two fish. <laughs> this time it's a nice walleye. Uh, probably have to measure this one according to the regulations. We're only allowed one over 70. And this guy, he'll be... I don't think he's 70, but we'll run over to the truck with the tape measure and we'll just double check just to make sure. Once I find this hook. There it is there. Might not even need the Leatherman. There. So we got the hook out. We'll take him to the truck, measure him. Uh, give him a little bonk on the head to put him out of his misery, put him on the little chain gang, and uh, get back to fishing. Uh, before we came out here, I checked the regulations. I also have a set in my truck, and I have a set downloaded on my phone, so I can check them, even without phone service and all that stuff. And we're allowed three walleye each. And uh, so, yeah, if the fishing keeps up like this, uh, obviously it's a really healthy uh, fisheries here. So if we uh, keep catching them like this, maybe we'll catch our limit. Then that way we can flame up when we get home, vacuum wrap them, and we'll have some uh, for later day. But anyways, let's head over to the truck, get this guy measured. Alrighty, so we're back at the truck here. Grab my tape measure. And with this, you gotta go from the tip of their nose, don't want to get my finger too close there, they have some pretty pretty nasty teeth there, but you go from the tip of the nose to the fork in the tail. Oh. As you can see, they're very lively. And with Wally, they got these little spikes on their back, and if they get you with those spikes, it hurts. Oh jeepers. Oh yeah, we're a long ways away from 70 centimeters. You really, you don't realize how big 77 centimeters is until we're holding up the fish. This guy here is roughly about 40. So that being said, he's 40 centimeters, which means about 40 centimeters of supper. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'll bonk him on the head, put him on the chain, then we'll get back to fishing. There we go, we got the fish on the old chain. We're gonna do a multi purpose tripod here for the camera. Take this, clip that onto here. There we go. Now our fish are gonna stay down there in the water, stay nice and fresh. And hopefully, this don't go nowhere. We we'll have to adjust it a little bit. Make it a little more sturdy. Hopefully the dogs don't knock it over. Hopefully the dogs don't knock it over. Alrighty, time to get back to fishing. Oh, it's Shelby's turn to catch a fish now, finally, here. Oh, look at him. 
Well, that's not bad. That's another eater for sure. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, bonk him on the head and we'll throw him on the chain and I think that'll be all the ones that we keep, eh? Yeah, Three we don't enough. really need more than that. Perfect. All right, let's go put them on the chain. Well, I tried a little bit longer there with the old yellow jig. And uh, no such luck, but we did manage to catch three nice little keepers and a couple of small stragglers that all went back. But we're going to wrap things up here at the lake and uh, we'll see you back at the house when we get to clean these things. Well, we made her home here and we got our fish in the sink here. So we got our little cutting boards all set up. We're going to start to uh, fillet these up and then we'll uh, we'll cook something for supper here with them. Okay, so here we got our nice little walleye here. Now we're just going to quickly fillet him up. We will go between the gill plate and dorsal fin. This fin here, you got to watch out for these fins. they got these little spikes on them. So if you get them on your finger there, it kind of hurts a little. But make a nice little diagonal cut, and their skin is pretty, oop, pretty thick. Go down to the spine, turn your knife. There we go. And then right in here, you got all these rib bones. Quickly clean my knife off, touch it up here with the sharpener. If you guys don't have one of these, they're uh, they're pretty neat to have inside two little ceramic rods there. It makes real quick work of keeping your knife nice and sharp. But here we got some rib bones just going underneath. Go underneath and tilt your knife just slightly up. And you can feel it running against all those bones. And what I do to get the skin off, make one little slice here, hold it down with your finger, turn your knife, grab that skin with your finger and your thumb, pull it towards you and just kind of rock it back and forth. There we go. So now that we got that done, there's a little bit of wire bones in here that you got to take care of. You can just barely feel them right here. So you start up at the head side, and you can feel it goes up to about here. Let's take your knife, all them bones down. that kind of on both sides here go my bones are out and now what you're left with the boneless, skinless filet, and it is ready to be cooked. Alrighty, so for supper tonight here, uh, Shelby's going to be uh, deep frying some of these walleye, making up some fish and chips. So I'm going to let her run through everything, and she has everything all set out here and all that good stuff. 
So what do we have here? All right, so I'm gonna start off by making my batter. So I have out like my flour, cornstarch, seasonings, a little bit of baking powder, and milk. All right. So I'm going to start off with some flour. Need about half a cup. And it's not the same if you don't make a mess. So I'm just going to sift that in. And a little cornstarch. I'm going to do about a teaspoon. and a teaspoon of baking powder. Now it's time for my seasonings. I'm gonna add a pinch of salt, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of garlic powder, a little more. And about a teaspoon of lemon pepper. I'm just gonna whisk this all together. I'm gonna add one egg. My half cup of milk. and whisk until smooth. Just like that, the batter is coming together and you need to let it sit for about 20 minutes. Well, it's been about 20 minutes here that uh, the batter's been sitting in the fridge and now Shelby's gonna get to deep frying here. All right, so I'm gonna cheat a little and shallow fries these ones, but if you ever wanna know if your oil's ready, Take a little of your batter, stick it in, and you see it starts bubbling like that, it's ready for you. All right, so let's get that out of there real quick. We'll just set it off to the side there. So we're gonna take our walleye fillets here, work them in the batter. them nicely coated. I like a thin batter because then you actually can taste the fish and you're just gonna leave them in there. That one got a little twisted but that's okay. We'll just be more careful with the second one. Alright, move this over a little bit, make some room. Beautiful. All right, so it's been about two minutes, so we're just gonna very carefully flip these here. Look at that beautiful golden brown. Alrighty, so we'll cook those for another couple of minutes and then we'll uh, pull them off, let them drain for a little bit and then we'll get to plating here real soon. All the fish is out of the deep fryer there and while we're waiting for that to drain, Shelby made up some of her own little homemade tartar sauce here. It's pretty well a couple scoops of uh, mayonnaise, a couple of pickles that are all diced up. Uh, some dill, garlic powder, lemon pepper, uh, and then uh, a little bit of lemon juice, and then also salt and pepper to taste.
So it's a very, very simple, easy little tartar sauce. And uh, looks pretty darn tasty. So now we're just kind of waiting for everything to cool and then we'll be plating up and then Shelby do a little taste test for you. Alrighty, there's Shelby's little creation. She has a deep fried fish, some poutine, and then her tartar sauce. So she's gonna kind of doll it up here with a little lemon. And then, uh, yeah, she'll be taking a bite. And she's gonna let you know how her own cooking is here tonight. Ooh. There's a reason I don't cook on the channel much. <laughs> All right, I gotta do it nice with just lemon and salt for the first bite. Mm. Okay, that is good. You definitely gotta try that. I shouldn't sound so surprised at my own cooking. <laughs> and how's your old tartar sauce? Oh, let's give her a shot. Caveman style. You know it. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> well, there you go, guys. Thanks for coming along fishing with us here today. Uh, yeah, caught a couple of fish there. Had a good time. Shelby cooked herself up. Pretty, pretty nice looking meal here. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button, uh, leave us a comment or two, subscribe to the channel, we'll catch you on the next one.